Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is Many of Trudet, and welcome back to Skyrim, where you join me inside an orc stronghold. We haven't really been allowed in these places yet, they haven't really liked us uh, looking around, but I have brought an orc priestess or something, some ingredients, in order that she can summon Malakath, and apparently I'm supposed to be here for the ritual as well. I like this, by the way, it's been well thought through, of course, this is a really, like, you know, closed, isolationist society, so they've had to dig a little well in the middle of their camp. Which is very, very cool indeed. They've got a bucket and uh, clearly at least someone has uh, died, unfortunately. Not too surprising, to be honest, that some people have died. Because, yeah, apparently uh, this tribe is weak, their leader is cursed, the giants are attacking. So, let's just head inside and I imagine Malekith might actually have a little bit more for me as well. It is time, Mars. You bring an outsider here and now insist I call on Malekith for help. When he has clearly forsaken me. You try my patience, Atub. Doing nothing will not grant our tribe relief from this curse. We must try. Uh, fine. Let's get this over with. Alright. Now where does this ritual happen? Ah, it happens outside. Fine, you just need to go and grab the chief. Uh, Benor, don't, don't block the door, Benor. Don't block the door when they're trying to get outside. There we go. That was very rude of you, Benor. Just want to quickly check there's no actual good books or anything around here. Nice long house. We've got ourselves beds and chests. And don't steal any of this. Like, we want to be friends with these guys. We want to be friends. Okay, I'm guessing that's your bathroom. And you decided to read A Brief History of the Empire on the toilet. Excellent. Ah, but the true nature of orcs, even though it's worth 20, sadly doesn't actually count as uh, anything in terms of increasing a skill. That's a nice chest, mind. Uh, no. Resist. Don't steal. Don't need to steal. Got plenty of good, valuable stuff already. And no skill books there. Let's just get outside and join in with the ritual, okay? Great Malachi, we beseech you. Aid us in our time of need. Why are we bothering with this? You pathetic weakling. What's that? Malakath has heard my pleas. He speaks to us. You dare summon me, Yamars? What? What is this? You don't deserve to call yourself an orc. You're weak, you're small, and you're an embarrassment. You let giants, giants, Overrun my shrine. Bring me their leader's club as an offering, and I might release you from this curse. So it will be. Malakath has spoken. Your path is clear. Very well. You, outsider, come here. I want a word. This is all your fault, you know. I'm stuck fighting a giant now, thanks to you. So you're going to help me. You're going with me. And you're going to make sure I don't have any trouble reaching that giant. Don't worry. I'll make it worth your while. Ooh, you know what? I would say, actually, the favor of an orcish war chief. That strikes me as a good thing to have. Yeah, so what exactly do you want me to do? This giant. It's not the only thing in Fallowstone Cave. Getting to it isn't going to be easy. You're going to clear a path to the giant so I can conserve my strength. I'll make sure you're paid for it. So you meet me at Fallowstone Cave, and I'll get this over with. I can have my tribe back, and you can... You can leave us alone. Okay, this is a really not orky orc, but whatever. And before we go that way, however, let's just have a little explore around, see if there's anything else good going on. Might be like an orcish... Yeah! Orcish blacksmith! Hello! We have angered Malakath, and so we must be punished. I see. No one's willing to work with me yet, or trade with me or anything, because I haven't actually helped them out. Well, I've helped them out a little bit. Brought you the bloody stuff you couldn't have got otherwise. I've helped you pretty nicely. Please, help your mobs. Do whatever you can. Our tribe depends on you. I'm guessing right now you're not willing to do anything else for me? Nope. So oh, no! You're actually willing to potentially do selling! Nice. Now, by any chance... 
No, literally the only books you've got are just a couple of recipes. Well, that's fine. May as well take this opportunity to just sell a couple of potions of my own, given I'm always carrying a bloody surplus. There we are. Cleared out some less good potions. Made tons of money. Now, what do you want me to do here? Is this cave nearby? I'm guessing it's going to be... Okay, can't be that nearby because it said it added to the map. It's nowhere around here. Hang on, where is it then? Here we are. Meet him at Fallow Stone Cave. Now, where is uh, Fallow Stone Cave? Ah, okay, fine. It is pretty close by. It's just... You said you updated my map. Kind of been noticed. You haven't updated it that well. All right, fine. You know what? That's okay. That's walking distance. We'll just head there on bloody foot. So what you want me to do right now is just clear out the cave, but then you fight the giant. But why do you get the feeling when it comes to it, you might want me to help you fight the bloody giant as well, quite possibly. Yeah, that seems quite feasible. This is just... That's just the path back towards Riften. That's okay. Should be a cave round about here. But why is it not showing up on my compass then? That's weird. Ah, wait. That's not the cave. You're just leading me to the cave. Right. Well, where's the bloody cave then? It better not be too bloody far, all right? I don't want to be following you all bloody day. And rather conveniently, en route, to get to pass by a new location. A windmill. Okay. That's fine. You just carry on your way. I'll be with you in a minute. What exactly is this little place here? Just a uh, little windmill. Snowshod. Ah, Snowshod Farm. You know, I've run into the snowshod. They were the guys who the sun was kind of a little bit more sceptical of Ulfric, but everyone else was totally 100% Team Ulfric. Yeah, okay. That's nice of you. Right, so this guy will buy potatoes. And what's your deal? This was the first door in Skyrim I knocked upon. Okay, she's just a random person, no quest at all. And the weather's just suddenly weirdly got way, way nicer. All right, fine, let's go catch up with What's-His-Face. Oh, wait. Fallowstone Cave. I've been there. I've already cleared it out. Right, okay, well, I'll just teleport there and then just wait for him to show up then. Fine. There we are. Now he's here. Good. So, he's made it here. And yeah, which one was this again? I've already been in here. I don't remember it being particularly big, to be honest, unless, like, it just opens up. If there's a chance this will save me, then I'm taking it. Let's just get this over with. Okay, how long exactly has this been going on? Are you willing to share exactly what the bloody curse is? Weeks? Longer. Feels like an age has gone by. I haven't slept in so long. Okay, I just want to help, but if you could give me some more information, that'd be great. Oh, of course. Because Malakath would take pity on us if only a useless outsider would lend us a hand. Look, okay, if you don't want my help, I'll stay here. You can go in and deal with all this by yourself, all right, you stupid bastards. Let's take this and hold on to it. I'll be back for it later. I'll pay you good. Don't lose it. Uh, okay, hang on. We've already done this, no and now I just got to snitch or double cross me, and I'll kill you. I mean it. Okay, right. By any chances, there are guards coming, so we need to go and protect that guy. But now you've just triggered this stupid quest for no well-explained reason. Um, where's the? All right, fine. You know what? We'll just hold on to that for the time being. I need to go protect this guy. Probably a police officer will bloody show up in a second. Okay, what's nice is, he's not actually just basically hanging back and letting me do the whole thing. Oh, it's the cave with the bears! Right, yeah, this was the massive bear cave we cleared out. Fine. So the bears have probably regenerated if they're going to be here at all. You're just going to go down and down and down. Question is, yeah, are there any still bears floating around? What's down there? Now it's been replaced with a giant's camp. Fine. And you are just willing to basically run forward the moment I'm involved. Well, that's fine. We should be able to handle this, I'd say. Uh, if it's just one giant, anyway. I remember this place being pretty bloody big, though, so it might not be. Okay, round we go. There he is. There it. Well, no, hang on. No, my actual objective is this guy. I don't actually know about the anything else. Uh, right, let's just put one of you there and you run ahead and possibly pick a fight okay you're picking a fight with a giant yeah you're picking a fight with a giant right i'm gonna go in and help out now better will hopefully catch up at some point how are we doing how are you doing are we okay that's a giant oh yeah oh yeah my sword is just slicing through him like butter Right, okay, don't kill him for just a second, all right? I wouldn't mind having his soul, whatever that's worth. It's no, no, not yet, not yet. 
Gosh darn it, you're too efficient at murder. Right, nothing good on him, but no sign of the Chief Giant's War Club. So I'm guessing, unless it's in this here chest, we're going to need to go further and find more giants to murder. No, no sign of the club here. Right, deeper and deeper we go then. If I recall correctly, yeah, if we follow this path down, we get to go deeper into here. Now we've got just a few bats, don't panic, nothing major. And we've got, yeah, more giants. Ooh. Might have been able to sneak up on that one. Dramora Lord, I think you should have this pretty nicely. Yeah, that's just another basic giant to be on. I think we're just fighting our way past a bunch of giants now. Okay, now stay behind. And now, okay, this isn't going as well. You know what? It's probably fine for me just to go over to Ebony's sword as well as this thing. There we are. Oh, we can actually do... Oh, yeah. Nice double thing there. Oh, no, don't lead him around to me. Okay, there we go. And no, no. There we go. Got myself a soul. There we go. Got some souls. Lovely. Love that soul. Where's Benor and that guy? Is Benor just staying back to guard that guy? <laughs> it's possible. I think he's struggling to keep up. He might have got himself caught on a cliff. If he has, that's just absolutely fine because he's... Yeah, now he's just stuck up there. Benor's... I'm going to wait an hour. So I can't wait at this location. All right, fine. I'm not going to wait an hour. Instead, I'm just going to crack on and we're just going to hope we find, like, the king of the giants at some point or other. Ah, this is interesting. So first time I was here, I swear this wasn't here, but there is a path leading up and out. I think this might be new and possibly leading up to where the giant, the kind of the main giant lives. Giant's Grove. Yeah, that sounds about right. Right, who's following me to Giant's Grove? He hasn't bothered. That's fine. Um, there we are. I hadn't discovered this location before. This is no. So, 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 so. Question is, what do we need to do here? Because I suspect we don't want to just kill the giant. So if we just kill the giant, then he hasn't killed the giant. And Malaketh would presumably know that. Right, so we've got... Oh, get ready for a fight. Where is he? Where's the big giant? Oh, I think we found the big giant and he knows we're there. Okay, I've dropped a save just in case. But if we can just kill this guy right now, let's do it, all right? This is... What are you exactly? You are... You're just a giant. Just a giant like any other. But you seem to be a vaguely important one, so that's fine. Round the back of him... You guys got this. I feel like you've really got this already, actually. Okay, so don't kill him just yet. Right. Summon. And now get ourselves some giant soul. Nice. So now we've got this. Now we can help ourselves to a hammer. So we've got ourselves Shagrol's Warhammer. Not even that good, so definitely not worth stealing or anything. And fortunately, quest item, so has zero weight, spot on. But yeah, we found this secret giant's grove that I couldn't access before. And there's an orc bandit there. Dear, oh dear. Loads of icy skulls. I swear I saw a... I know I saw a thing around here somewhere. Uh, there it is. Uh, there was a chest. Some nice extreme potions. Extreme potions are worth having. Uh, together with... Uh, that might be worth selling, to be perfectly honest. Um, Elven Mace of Harvesting. Absorb Stamina. That's kind of cool. But honestly, yeah, in terms of weight-to-value ratio, I'll just have that and sell it. Yeah, I've got loads of stuff to sell. Where's Watts' face, by the way? Because he didn't even bother showing up to this. Is he going to, like, mind the fact that I, like, took the honour from him or something? Hopefully not. In fact, actually, the quest has updated now to... Yeah, just take it back to... The town. I don't need to bother speaking to the chief. Screw the chief. We're just going to skip him out entirely. <laughs> Basically, a little flimsy Breton in some robes showed up and has saved you all and your war chief did nothing to help. And I imagine Malaketh isn't going to be thrilled with that, but whatever. We'll see. Right. This gets me up top here. I think he's just stuck down there forever, so maybe this is just his new house or whatever. You know what? It's fine. I'll go and deliver the Warhammer, become the new Orc War Chief, be welcomed with open arms at every single Orc encampment around the rest of Skyrim, 
and life will be good. Honestly, we don't really need this guy. He came across as a bit of a jerk anyway. Also, I'm suspicious. The moment I step outside, there might be a guy that runs up to me. It's like, have you seen anyone run past here? And then I can just give him the thing I was given. Yeah, that about to happen by any chance? Or am I just stuck with whatever that thing is in my inventory? I might be. I might be. Yeah, I have no idea where the guy who's supposed to... Oh, hello! Hello, we've got a skirmish going on here. Ooh! Right! Imperials versus Stormcloaks. Well, I haven't picked a side here yet. So, I don't really know who to side with. Actually, you know what? That's a really, really good point. I need to decide that. And I said all along, I was going to let you guys decide that. So, as a result, Ben, or oh, we're staying out of this one. We'll just kind of pick the corpses of the dead. Uh, basically, there's going to be a straw poll in the description of this video for which side I ought to actually side with. Stormcloak or Imperial. Both actually, you know, have... Well, I'm about to say both have upside. They don't really. Both have downsides. Neither of them really have anything in the way of an upside. <laughs> To be perfectly honest, there's not really upsides when it comes to Imperials versus Stormcloaks. Feels like the Imperials are about to win this particular fight, though. Yeah, just because you're outnumbered, you can get whacked in the back repeatedly. So, feels to me like... Actually, you're pretty badly injured, so is the other one. There might just be one survivor from this whole situation. Nope, two Imperials made it, but I suspect they might be about to be finished off by a spider. So, uh, in which case, actually, I don't think there's going to be a winner here. Yeah, I'm not sure there's actually uh, a winner. Also, Ben, or do you want to go and take out the spider? Do you want to get the spider? Oh, you recovered! Ah, okay, fine, actually. Never mind. Uh, let's just actually get ourselves, if we can, some soul. Yep, I'll have the soul there, thank you. Lovely. Uh, yeah, for whatever reason, it was a bit of an unfair fight, because some of the Imperials appear to potentially be, you know, immortal. So that feels like that's kind of cheating, really. Plus, they actually had um, Imperial bows, whereas the Stormcloaks had hunting bows, which are just, you know, actually inferior. So, as a result, yeah. Like, I like the Stormcloaks and the fact, you know, they're fighting to take over the Empire. It feels like a classic sort of video game sort of story, but they are horribly, horribly racist to Dark Elves. Though, as some people point out, you know, the Dark Elves maybe don't deserve it, but they did do some really, really horrible stuff in their own time back in the days of Morrowind and whatever, as I'm told. So... You know what, it's not quite as black and white as that, and uh, the Imperials, it's kind of fun to be, you know, part of the Empire, and it's all kind of slightly Romany imagery and whatever, but then equally, like, lots of people don't really like being oppressed, and you're basically part of a big oppressive army and whatever, so I'm not sure. I'm just not sure, really. So, Strawpole, you get to the side. Let's get back to the Orcs. Right, lovely new day. Beautiful and red. I love it when Riften's all red and orange. It's beautiful. Right. In here, and now I need to return this to you. Sorry, your war chief, I'm not even sure if he's coming back, by the way. He was kind of less than useless, actually. Please, help your Mars. Do whatever you can. Our tribe depends on you. Yeah, when you say do whatever you can, do you mean do literally all the work and leave him behind? Because that's kind of what happens. But what of your Mars? I see. He did not survive. He... He died well. I'm not sure he actually did die at all. He was just stuck, like, right there. Um, okay, apparently he fought bravely, but the giant... That's a lie. I'm just lying in order to preserve the memory of their war chief. But whatever, hopefully that's... How did he die? <laughs> Possibly he's, like, guaranteed to die. Like, he's supposed to charge into that battle and get killed by the first blow in his scripted event. So when the giant died, he died automatically, but... I genuinely have no clue. He just kind of got stuck on a ledge and got left behind, unfortunately. But I can't say that. Ah, that is good to hear then. Yamaris was a coward and a weakling. His deceitful ways have cost you all greatly. So he has been punished. And what of us? What fate shall we suffer? You'll have to prove yourselves. But I'm willing to give you a chance. Gullerzo's in charge now. Let's hope he's a better chief. You place that hammer on the shrine. You're the only one who's proven worthy in all of this. Nice. I am the best orc and I'm the only person... There's just a horse over there. Did you guys know there was a horse? Alright, fine. There's just a horse there. Right. Place the hammer on the shrine. But we don't want you here. Ooh. 
Okay. Can't help but notice the Warhammer just got upgraded into something. I will do my best to lead the tribe, but I don't know why Malakath chose me. Ah, hey, why well, you're the new guy. May your next fight bring you victory, friend. Ah, I think I'm now considered a friend of the orcs, but of more interest, kind of a notice that that thing's just been upgraded to Volendrung, and it's not marked as stealing if I take it, right? Yeah, no one seems to mind that. So, what exactly is this Volendrung thing? Ooh, 27 damage absorbs 50 points of damage per swing. That's a ludicrous, ludicrous amount of stuff to absorb, but... I don't think I'd want to give that to Benor ahead of... I mean, I'll keep it because it's a really, really cool, unique thing. And it's a unique asset. And I like stuff that's unique assets. But I think we'll hold off that for the time being. Though, actually, Ben, let's just see it out for a second. Oh, it does look badass, though. Though, actually, I think I actually prefer... I think I prefer you with the Nordic thing anyway. You can carry it for now, but we will actually just be putting it away. Right, so now I've done all of that, are all the rest of you willing to treat me as a friend of the orcs and trade with me and whatever? We are all blood here. One family, one tribe. Okay, apparently now Ogol is willing to just be my companion. Looks like he's one-handed and has no armor, so of all the people in this camp, you're kind of the last I would have picked, but whatever. Your Mars betrayed us all. I will never allow that to happen again, so long as I rule. Okay, new chieftain. He doesn't have anything to say to me apart from some just, like, generic dialogue. Sorry, I think I just knocked over your holy shrine. Right, how about you? The ways of the mystic are known to me. I have remedies and cures, should you need them. So, she is now apparently a trainer in illusion. By any chance, you're any cheaper than that guy at the college. And you are... No, you're the same price. I think it's just standardised everywhere. I'm not paying 2,000 a level. That's ridiculous. So, tell me about the orcs. We have lived in Skyrim since before the Nords came. Our way is simple. All work to make the tribe strong. Only the bravest are allowed to lead and to marry. A great chief is able to attract many wives and raise bold children. Wise women like myself are mothers of chieftains. We guide the tribe and advise our kin on what is most pleasing to Malakath. And fair enough, you did indeed do a very good little ritual there, so well done. And yeah, tell me about your weapons and armor while I'm here. It is said that an orc first learns to wield a hammer in her mother's womb. By tradition, a mother always teaches her children how to smith. If a chief has a second wife, she is called the Forge Wife in honor of this. Okay, that's pretty damn cool. And are you selling anything better now that we're all. like friends or something? I think that's all the same stuff. No, it's all the same stuff. That's fine. I'll just be mm -hmm. on my way then. Have a quick chat around. Actually, the blacksmith presumably is now willing to speak to me, right? Hello there. Every blade I make honors Malachi. Yes, you are. Marvelous. Right, let's have a little look see at your stuff now. See if you've got anything special. Mysteriously, not just orcish stuff. I would have thought, like, you know, it would make sense if it was nothing but orcish stuff. But she actually has one orcish piece. She's got one orcish war axe. It's not even enchanted or special. Yep, nothing too special there, really. Just the basic stuff we'd find in anything at all. And uh, you haven't even got, what's it called? Um, oraculum, the stuff that you use to improve orc weaponry. You've got everything but the actual ingot that you would need to improve your own species as well. All right, fine, whatever. And if I want to, I can also help myself to a few bits. Not everything, as is usual. The most expensive valuable stuff is still stealing, but I can help myself to a few pelts or whatever if that's what I wanted to do. Very, very nice indeed. Now, stay away from the shrine. Make sure we don't ruin that. Unless, of course, I'm allowed to... No, it would still be stealing to take all of the orcish gear off the shrine to Malika. That would be bad. Just... Ooh! I'm gonna be honest, I kind of told everyone you were dead. Because I... Oh, this is really awkward. Ben or we should leave, because I get the feeling our lies are about to get found out. Yeah, seriously, he's actually going into the longhouse right now. He's actually going in. He's... Okay, do you mind the fact that the old chief just showed up by any chance? Your Mars betrayed us all. 
I will never allow that to happen again, so long as I rule. I think I may have just triggered a civil war among the orcs. Ben, oh, we really, really need to go right the hell now, okay? Can I have a horse, by the way? Do you mind if I have this horse? No, that would still be stealing. Never mind, you know what? We'll just do this on foot. It's fine. And you know what? While we're doing orc business, we ran into, yeah, we ran into this settlement up here where everyone wasn't really willing to talk to me. But now we're friend of the orcs, maybe they will. So, here we are back at Nolzlebur. Now, if I come in here, guys, is anyone now happy to see me under the circumstances? Because I've helped out orc kind. I've read the entrails many times, but can't fathom why Mahulak's wives keep finding tragedy. Okay, she didn't just say, I can't stand you being here, you should leave. That's good. Urag and Dushnamov were such lovely children. I held them as they watched their mothers die after birth. They know me best now. Okay, so something about a tragedy. Someone's wives keep dying, which is probably a bit suspicious, and I'd probably be very suspicious of that person. Ah, so you're an alchemist. Ah, you're an alchemist, not an actual... Sorry, I thought you were a blacksmith because you were working leather, but all right, fine. Also, you know what? I'm carrying around 18 Nian root, which is actually weighing me down by like three or four pounds. I'm just going to sell it all. I'm never going to do that quest. Someone told me in the comments that, yeah, the reward for doing the crimson thing is just that you get, like, when you create a potion, there's a chance, like, 25% or something, you'll create the second potion of the same type. I've barely created a potion for 10 parts, and I doubt I'm going to. At this point, I'm trying to avoid leveling up too fast, so I doubt we're ever going to need those. Let's just get rid of them. And now I've collected none out of 30. Oops. Also, Falmer ears. I don't need that many ears. I can do with less ears. So, let's go around the hut, see what else we've got here, because we've got... Ooh. Hello, we've got a little... Is that like an orc? Ooh, that's really cool. Your village has its own private bridge over to your own private mine. Okay, also, do you mind me... Okay, let's just quickly get this door open. I don't know what it is, but I'm curious. Here we go. We've got... Uh-oh. I, I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have come in here. I shouldn't have come in here. Ben, ben or oh, we shouldn't have come in here because someone just yelled, I fight. Do you know why someone just yelled, I fight? It wasn't marked as something I shouldn't do. Are we are we good? Are we are we good? Wait, what? What? Are we, is it me? Is it me? No, it's just wolves. It's just wolves. It's fine. False alarm. Just a really really badly timed wolf attack. Here we go. Don't worry. I'll help you. I'll help you. There you go. Helped you out once again. Now we've got ourselves actually a whole bunch of just flipping orcs now standing outside. Quickly catch up with them. See if they haven't got anything to say. My brother keeps trying to spin these fantasies to me about my aunts and our father. He's crazy. Okay, I'm guessing that's about the conspiracy related to why are people dying too much. Ah, and we've got the actual chief here as well. So, any work you need to do in chief? How about a test? Your muscle against mine. The victor gains 100 gold coins from the loser. Okay, ah, we're literally brawling the orc chief. Oh, this is going to be embarrassing if you lose. This is going to be really flipping embarrassing. But all right, fine. Let's flipping do it. I've got healing magic. I've got those gloves that give me bonus damage to punching. This will take a very long time because it just does. But screw it. Let's this do this. So here we are, special gloves, unarmed strikes, 10 additional damage. That's bloody useful. Now, as for everything else, let's just get in my hand uh, some nice, fast healing. That should be all I need. And now, at this point, now we've got, no, I need to not have that away. I need to not summon anything else. Put the bound sword away. Now, basically, we punch this guy. Oh, this looks much faster. Oh, yeah, these gloves. These gloves are doing the job. Actually, I might even win this. I'm wearing flipping... Okay, you are pretty feeble as an orc chief. I'm going to be honest. I'm actually beating you one-on-one -on -one in a fair fight. Admittedly, I'm wearing special gloves that are good at fighting. But you're wearing armor. I'm wearing flipping college robes. I've just come from the library. A librarian just showed up at your town and is now going to beat the hell out of your chief. But this does make, yeah, brawls a lot faster and easier. Yeah, you know what? Oh, you poor bastard. Who taught you to fight? Keep those hands up. Did Benno just yell useful advice over to me? Oh, that's nice. Impressive. And I think I've earned my coin and pretty much I'm going to guess someone's going to be challenging you for, you know, leadership of the colony pretty soon, given I just showed up and beat the hell out of you. That you have. Here. So, anything else? Actually, no, just quickly heal up. Victory. 
Lovely. Are you willing to be my companion by any chance now? Come to purchase ebony. Our gloom-bound mine runs thick with black banes. Ah, good source of ebony. Fine. So tell me about the style of governance that you go with, given apparently you've elected a fool who can't beat a librarian in a fist fight. The Code of Malekath. It is both tradition and law in the strongholds. Break the code, and you must pay blood price. The code is not written anywhere. It is known and carried on by the orcs, and all who live in the strongholds follow it. For an outlander, following it is simple. Do not steal or attack anyone in the stronghold, or be ready to pay in gold or blood. I'm gonna be honest, that sounds pretty much like every other town I've ever been in, but alright, fine. And he's not willing to talk about his all mysteriously right. dying wives. Maybe if I ask around a bit, I might be able to find something. But yeah, into this room I unlocked here. We've got, just got iron, iron, more iron. Bit of ebony over here, though. And in a chest, I can help myself to 46 gold, because I'm a friend of the orc, so I can just have some gold. Fine. Let's ask around, see if I can find anyone who's willing to talk to me a little bit about this whole situation with, uh, yeah, the dying wives. Most of my kin are in the longhouse. Come back during the day if you wish to trade. Okay, fine. Apparently everyone's like asleep right now. Fine, Benor, let's just bed down for the night here. Okay, daytime now. Hello? Mahulak. He wants to be a leader, but spends too much time moping over women. Bolar and I should be all he needs. Ah, so you're his two current wives then, I guess. Orc chiefs should be strong and stand alone. They need no companions. Progeny is a poor excuse. Okay. His new wives keep dying. That woman's like, I should be all they need together with Bolar. So two wives he's already got. Why do we get the feeling that that woman might just be poisoning the new wives or something? Right, we might be coming across a bit of a conspiracy here. Right, have a chat with you. Who are you? Are you... No, you're Urog. My brother keeps trying to spin these fantasies to me about my aunts and our father. He's crazy. Ah, so you're one of the daughters. Fine, we heard what you had to say outside a second ago uh, as well. Any chance this new day you're willing to speak to me now? May your next fight bring you victory, friend. No, still nothing. I'm just going to nip inside the longhouse, see if there's anyone in there. Need to find this, what is it, Bolar, Botar, whatever Yultul said. Yeah, there's Yatul. Where's the other one? She might just be over in the mines, by the way. Yeah, nothing major here. Unless we've got, yeah, Nature of Orcs, we know about that. Code of Malekith chest here, which I could just quickly hack open because I'm a friend of the orc, so they might be okay with me taking some stuff. Yep, 142 gold I can help myself to. That is not stealing. Lovely. It's good being a friend of the orcs. Well, I feel like there's more here than we've seen so far. Actually, wait, hang on. By any chance are... Ah, you're Bolar. I can't fathom why Mahulak's wives keep finding tragedy. Would it by any chance be? Because, yeah, you seem to be less jealous. I'm blaming your tool here. Urog and Dushnamub were such lovely children. I held them as they watched their mothers die after birth. They know me best now. Okay, and what's your take on this Malakath guy who I've spoken to? He likes me, by the way. He gave me a really fancy axe. He is our creator and master. The Daedric Lord of the Sworn Oath and the Bloody Curse. Malakath teaches us to honor all words with action. To demand blood from your enemies and strength from your allies. He watches over all orcs as his children. A truth those who leave the stronghold are quick to forget. Okay. Yeah, I Until think Yatul might be doing something dodgy here. Let's go over to the other side. Their private mine with their little private bridge to actually access it. Which is pretty bloody cool, I must say. If you make a friend of the orcs, you can access their private mine up here. That's really damn cool, in fact. Hello! Are you looking to work? The mines are nearby. You bring me ore. I'll give you coin. Alright, Benny Chance, are you also selling stuff? Yes, indeed you are. Honestly, looks pretty standard fair to me. Nothing major, not even anything actually enchanted. In fact, actually, I think that might be the exact same inventory as the actual one at the, uh, yeah, the person at the last settlement I was at, the last Orc Stronghold had. Possibly they have a shared inventory, I'm not sure. Not entirely shared, though, because you do at least have the Auriculum here, so, yeah, you can actually improve Orcish weapons. So that's good. Right, up we go. Let's have a little look see inside this mine, in case there's anything interesting. Gloombound Mine, good creepy name there, lovely. And there's, yeah, 
some good veins here. Very, very nice indeed. And a little... What is this? Just a place where workers can chill out? We've got... Ooh! Heavy armor forging. No, I've already read that one too. It's like, I think like now five books or so in a row that I've read where I've actually previously read them. I've actually got a pretty good collection of skill books at this point. Snip inside. You know, just in case there's some more people in here or there's like a note that your tool left saying, ha 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 ha, I can't believe I poisoned all those other orcs. I hate orcs so much. I can't believe I got away with all the poisoning. It's not desperately likely, but you know, just in case. And as we were promised, yeah. Many, many ebony veins here. Plenty of it, in fact. Nice. If I ever need ebony, good place to come here. Yeah, this is actually quite a cavernous little mine. There's nothing here. No enemies. No one who actually wants to speak to me by the looks of it. But yeah, there's flipping uh, veins all over the shop. Oh, okay. Went wrong for that person, sure. But yeah, there's ebony veins everywhere. There'd be so much ebony here. Ridiculous amounts, in fact. You know what, while I'm here, let's just see how much this is all worth. So, ebony vein, ebony vein, ebony ore, ebony ore. I've got myself a flawless... I've got enough jewels. I don't need jewels. I do find it amusing, by the way, that everyone, like, treats mines like they're some form of, like, amazing thing that you kind of, you know, you build a town around because they're a source of wealth for years and years and forever and whatever. But, yeah, basically, you can actually just walk into a mine and in about, say... Five, ten minutes, completely deplete it of every single vein and pretty much leave it completely worthless. But no one seems to notice or mind whatsoever. So out of interest, let's just see what, you know, two minutes of uh, mining is actually worth. Nip back down to this guy, turn over that ore I just pulled out of the mountain. I've got ebony or to sell my Haven't good man. my aunts act with my father? It's beyond strange. So, 12 ebony ore for 720 gold. I tell you what, that's not a bad way of making money pretty quickly. Literally no risk to yourself. That's not bad at all. But yeah, he also made a comment there first about the way the ants act around. Yeah. There's something going on here, but I feel like actually I might not be able to solve it. But I strongly suspect that your tool has done something very bad to some of the other women here, but I have no way of proving it. Just gonna have one final look around the longhouse, make sure there's not like, you know, a chest that's her chest that might have like, you know, a secret note in it or something. Well, there is a master locked chest here. Let's just handle this quickly. Thieves Guild gloves on, please. There we are, second lock pick, like those gloves. No, no confession or anything though. Just an ingot, silver necklace, some gold I can help myself too, but nothing else. Around the other side, just in case. I want to be absolutely sure, because this might be one of those mysteries you just figure out for yourself. You can't ever prove, but I strongly suspect something is. Yeah, we've already opened this chest around here and seen there was nothing in there but the ebony sword. Already got one of those. Don't need to steal yours. Yeah, something here not quite right. Mahulak. He wants to be a leader, but spends too much time moping over women. Bolar and I should be all he needs. Okay, I'm not going to let this stand. This is just going to be an alternate universe thing. I've just dropped a save. I'm just going to quickly murder this person. We're not going to let that stand. Right, it's fine. I just want to check whether there's anything... No. There's no ha 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 ha, I did all the murdering on her person or anything. Um... Okay, Benor, Benor, don't look at the corpse. Don't, okay, Benor, okay, you're making me feel, okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna put her over here. This here was a tragic chest accident. Okay, can I actually get away with that? Because if I can get away with that, I'm just gonna walk outside. No, wait, hang on, hang on, no, I've got a better accident. Chest accident isn't that believable, to be perfectly honest. But, Benor, help me get her over into the fire, all right? She's pretty heavy because she's an orc. Oh no, it's a tragic fire accident. She fell over and banged her head while she was tending the fire and now she's dead. St okay, Benor is seriously judging me right now. I'm so sorry, Benor. I didn't mean to make you an accomplice to this. And everyone is actually cool with it. Yep, that there was fine. Yep, he doesn't seem to have realised yet. Okay, so uh, basically what I'm going to say here is you should now take an extra wife or two... I strongly suspect, now I've done that, the next one's going to be fine. So, 
I have just solved the mystery, or if I haven't, I've just murdered an innocent woman. But potentially, I've just solved the mystery. Away! Right, following morning, back at the first orc settlement there, but bear in mind, we still need to do what I set out to do last time, which is return the- there's a thing here- Ah, it's a bear! It's a bear! Ben or Ben or That's just a candlelight, that's not so good. There we are, and now we've got- Oh, the bear's going for- Never go for me! Always go for Ben or not me! There's a wolf as well, that's not helping. You know what, I'm gonna let Ben or have the- That's a dragon, isn't it? Oh, there's, there's two dragons and they're both elder dragons! Back to the stronghold! Back to the stronghold! Orcs! I'm a friend of the orcs, help me! Please help me! Yeah! Yeah, that's right! Look, look how there's- They've all run for cover, haven't they? They've all decided to do the run for cover thing. Oh, that's just bloody marvellous. I think Ben are actually decided to stand and fight against the dragon over there. Um, but all the orcish warriors have indeed fled. So run for your lives has possibly been a bit like, you know, there's actually two, aren't there? Are they actually attacking simultaneously? Um, okay, that one hopefully is just naffing off. That one should hopefully just naff off at this point. Ben or is just fighting. Okay, fine, I'm going to go help Ben or... Two older dragons simultaneously is a bit much, especially out in the open field where I can't just dive into bloody cut. Actually, you know what? You guys are just going to distract the dragons. All right, this is too much. This is too much. You distract them. I'm going for the dwarven ruins, okay? We're just going to hide in there because two older dragons simultaneously in the middle of nowhere, that's, that's actually a bit too much. So... You just go and take care of that, Ben, or catch up with me later. Am I still using- I'm still using a dagger! And that's totally a dragon above me right bloody now, isn't it? Yeah, that's- that's a dragon above me right bloody now. Right, let's go! 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 We're just running for Abel something or another worth. Just make it to Abelworth the Unready or wherever it is I'm bloody going. Uh, right. Oh, this is actually some cover. We've actually got some cover here. This is good. Where's the bloody door? Okay, I think I picked correctly. It looks like this leads up to something that looks like a- yep! This looks like a door. Right, Ben, oh. Where's Ben? Okay, I think he's... I think he's just over there. You know what? That's that's fine. These two dragons, they can just take care of themselves. The orcs will deal with them. The orcs are great at this sort of thing. This will be the first test of what's-his-face. Gobble faces new leadership. That's fine. I'm sure he'll do great. Right, now how's... Uh-oh. Where's... There he is! Ben, oh, caught up! With his lovely stamina hammer. You know what? Let's give him a go with the stamina hammer and see how it does. Because, yeah, he can keep using power attacks over and over with that thing. So that's actually quite nice. Okay, we can... We can turn off the dramatic music at this point. Yeah, that's better. Thank you. No, never mind. The dramatic music is indeed still playing right now. We don't need that. We've abandoned the dragons. We're just going to hide underground until they go away. Also, I suspect we might need to go quite a way underground. Because I've been told the quest name is Unfathomable Depth. So, uh... Yeah, I think we're going down quite a way. But I think actually I like we're probably place. oh it feels like we're being watched. It's a simple job, Drennan. You get in, you steal the Lexicon, you leave. You get jumpy. If you two cannot handle this, we can find others to hire. Enough. Their services will be more than adequate. Let us continue. Okay. We have got little Ghost memories, just like we had in the college. There's a story to be told with ghosts here. Fine. And we've got app. And we've actually got ourselves, unsurprisingly, some dwarven technology guarding the place. But that's fine. You'll be able to handle all of this, especially with my new sword. Nice. Lovely. I think we've got this pretty much. Yes. Now be ready to just cast the thing. Oh. No, that's just a ghost. It's fine. This place is unbelievable. Indeed. A Vanchenzel is as much a library as it is a city. Built to hold the vast memories of the dwelling. That's... that's... wow. Okay. A library as much as a city. This is cool. I approve of this. Right, big door up here. Start with the big door. What have we got? It's another door! They hit another door behind the door. And then we've got... Oh! Oh dear! That's never good! Right, don't let it go for me though. Don't let it go for me. That's right. Someone who's not me. Oh yeah. I feel like actually your new weapon is going to do very nicely in fact. Oh yeah. Very good. Right, just get a couple hits in. I can actually contribute pretty effectively as well. Be careful of those things though. They will murder me. This is a very, very good source of soul gems. It was last time anyway, so hopefully 
It still will be. Right, this is a good way of going. We're going up, actually. Which is interesting. What's going to be at the... Oh, hello, little spider guardian. They're little upgrades for the spiders. Nothing major there. Do a tiny bit of damage when they die, but nothing to worry about. And now we're up at the top floor. And we've got... Ah! Shortcut. Okay. Where does this lead? Presumably back towards the beginning. This is a bit of a... Oh, that's a balcony. Okay. Huh. Right. It's just a balcony up here. And this leads out to... That looks like a chest out there, but... By any chance... Good! The dragons have naffed off. Better and better. Now, am I allowed to just go over here, or is that going to hurt me? Nope, that's not going to hurt me. It's just a free chest out here, by the looks of things. Nothing major. A handful of fairly useful stuff and valuable stuff, but nothing major there, to be honest. Doesn't look like this leads up anywhere, though. There might be a further tier of, like, upper balcony up there, but... Nothing major. Right, back inside. That was just a nice little diversion. I suspect what we actually need to do is work our way down, given, you know, depths was actually in the title of the quest. Strongly suspect that's true. Skeleton made it up here. Didn't make it much further, though. Right, and then that leads down to... Ah, uh, that lets me drop down to here if I want to. Fine, so that was just a loop round. Nothing major there. But if I go down this way to the left, yeah, this place is a little bit on the mazy side. It feels quite bloody big. So don't just hop down because there might be more down here first. Little room at the end here. This looks like a bar from the other side. Fine. Okay, need to find a way to loop around to that. Watch out for a way to get to that later. So probably jumping all that way down. Actually, I could do it with the, um, yeah, the shout I've got to become ethereal. But Benno wouldn't be able to follow me particularly effectively. And then I'd be torn apart by all the creatures down there. Though the Dramora Lord might be able to help out quite a bit. But just in case, let's be a bit careful here. Let's instead head this way, which is blatantly the way I'm supposed to go. Activate Dramora Lord. Benor's decided he can't be bothered to show up for this one. Yeah? Benor? No, Benor's decided he's not here for this one. That's fine. Because it feels like the Dramora Lord is... Hopefully, got this one. And if not... Yeah, you know what? Every single hit he gets in is doing tons of damage. So he blocks. How's your health doing? How does you see your health and that kills you? Very, very nice indeed. Get myself one great soul gem. I'll take that. Thank you. And then just uh, cast a new one after that point. May as well top up his health. Gee, catch it. Uh-oh. 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 No. 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 Okay, I think he's fighting someone else now. Good, good. Also, where the bloody hell's Benor gone? Benor! You weren't ever told to hold still. He's just got lost somewhere. All right, fine. Benor will catch up sooner or later. I'm sure it's okay. If need be, I'll just wait and reset. There we are. Dramora Lord killed him. Wait one hour. And there's Benno. Well done. Well done, Benno. Good job. By the way, if you want to play the official Many a Truna drinking game, um, the rules are basically you take a shot every time I say the word Benno. I strongly recommend not ever playing this game. You will die. So now we can just follow this area down and down and down. Nothing major down there. Just more of the Spider Guardians. But yeah, now Benno's caught up. You'll go down nice and quickly. We verified last time these guys don't have souls, if I recall correctly. So I can't use the Bound Sword on them to fill up soul gems. But in all fairness, they have soul gems on them for the most part, so we don't really need to. Alright, through a couple of corridors, we've made it to uh, something a bit more interesting. No, actually, maybe not. Maybe we're just kind of going through to... No! Block him off! Block him off! Tomorrow, Lord, distract that guy, please. Ah, you know what? Screw it. I think I can actually handle this, Mike. No, I can't! Benor! There you go, in you go, swap places. Thankfully, I took this closed wounds. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That gets my health back in a hurry, screw you. He tried to do something really fancy, and Ben will just straight up murder him. Right, down to the remainder. Looks like it's just a few spider guardians right now. Nothing too dramatic there. I think we can handle all of this. Here we go, more of an explosion as it dies. Now, trap here. Ooh. Okay, there's a... Ah! Okay, nobody opened that door. No, well, unless you're Benor. Benor, I need you to do something. Fine. Could you open that door, please? No, don't wait. All right, fine, whatever. I feel like the safest thing to do here might just be to actually just open the door and then just jump backwards. There we go. That was much better than doing anything else. Watch out for that. Open the door here. This feels like it should just be a single room. 
Okay, just some dwarven armor here. That would probably trigger a spear guardian coming into the room. Let's not bother with that. Instead, crack on with cracking on. Is that a oh uh oh? Why are all these metal things ignoring us? A Vanchenzel is waiting. Waiting for what? No one seems to know. Perhaps the return of the Dwemer. Perhaps the end of the world. Best get rid of the ones we see, just in case. Okay. So a bunch of ones that Ah! They never existed. So they killed the ones they passed, but yeah, some of them might have been hidden away. Interesting. They didn't attack them. They just killed them anyway. That's... Ooh! Wait! One to value 595! Yeah, we'll be taking you to the shops, thank you. But yeah, for whatever reason, these guys said... And that is the... Ooh! Right, so we know what that is. That's where they made the robots. We've run into one of these before. They're not fun. Still, on we go. Wait for more things to show up. There's more things. Dramora Lord. Conjuration is just 76 now. That is doing very, very nice indeed. Right, you have exploded. Now there's a Sphere Guardian up there. It is nice actually, you know, the optimal scenario is Benor's in play, but the actual thing is going for the Dramora Lord. So I can replace the Dramora Lord. Very, very easily. Then I'm around the back. So I can actually get in a surprisingly large amount of damage because I just swing really fast. Because, yeah, the air seems to be a bit cautious. It guards, it backs off, it walks forward and backwards. But I just swing over and over and over like an idiot who doesn't know how to use a sword. So, uh, yeah, as a result... Hang on, is that a... Uh, can we open that? Yes, we can. Nothing major. Handful of garnets and a chest here. Got nine gold. Lovely. Oh! Elvin, boots of eminent sneaking, weight one... Value 1,700. Yep. Yep. Happy with that. And I'm still not on the right level because, yeah, I can see I'm supposed to be going to complete this quest through a load zone somewhere way over there yet. So I suspect we've got a lot of little constructs to chop our way through yet. This is interesting. Ah. A campsite. Presumably this is as far as they got. It is planning on starting a fire. This place is huge. It is large indeed. I did not anticipate a bunch of cell size or the time needed to uncover the entrance. A few hours sleep and we should be ready to continue through. Maybe we should turn back. I don't want to sleep here. Drennan, you do understand that the lexicon at the bottom of this place holds the accumulated memories of centuries of Dwemer. Not to mention our pay. So? So we're not turning back, you fool. Besides, you're not scared of a few sleeping metal men, are you, Drennan? Okay. So this is the final place they pitched camp, but no skeletons. They didn't pitch camp any further, but they never cleared the place. Something happened to them deeper inside. And I guess Drennan is probably the Argonian who gave me the thing. If I had to guess, we've got... Ooh. Little storeroom is this? This is cool. Yeah, we've got. Oh, not all of them are flipping asleep though. Some of them have woken up. Right, yeah. They kept little constructs here. That's cool. Help myself to all the soul gems in those guys. And my 185 as well. I'll take that. Yeah, we're really getting someone with my core skills at this point. Right, a few spiders later, feels like we're getting closer to the... Oh, no. I thought you said these things were sleeping. You said they were sleeping. I said they were waiting. It seems a few of them were waiting for someone to try and take the lexicon. Great. Okay, so they took the lexicon, some of them woke up. And given there was only two of them left there, I think, two of them were killed. Fine. And we've got... Ooh! Okay, this is very cool. I like this. Put you down there to just go and chop your way through. There's quite a lot of spiders. There's quite a lot of spiders, actually. But also you can actually handle yourself at least a little bit. Benno, do you want to go and help? Wait, where's Benno? Benno! Where's Benno? Oh, I think I'm... Yeah, my poor guy's being overwhelmed down there. He's going to be able to kill a few of them, mind. Oh, yeah, he can just smash through them. Oh, I love that guy. He's so... Oh, Ben... Wait, Benno. Benno's yelling something. Benno? Benno? Where is he? Is he meant to be around there or something? I think actually my guy's going to be able to win. 
Marvellous. Just basically go around chopping everything up. Beautiful. Oh, there he is. He decided to join in after Tremora Lord's already killed everything. Just don't tell Benno what me and you have, okay, Tremora Lord? Just, just, it's better he doesn't know. Ah, Centurions. Right. Okay, got to be a little bit careful here. Because sooner or later, one or two of you are going to wake up. Possibly two at the same time. At this point, two Centurions at the same time would be how they'd made that difficult. Because I suspect I can actually pretty easily handle one, yes. And we found ourselves a corpse. There's, oh no, there's Drennan. Sorry, I thought Drennan was the survivor. But no, definitely not. So you were killed here. Okay, fine. Possibly by a bunch of them popping out as soon as you got the thing. I can't do this. We shouldn't be here. I'm sorry. Drennan! Let the field mouse run. Your pay will be double. My pay will be nothing if we die in here. Calm yourself, Freya. We are closing in on the lexicon. I can feel it calling. We'll continue without Drennan. So the person who hands us the lexicon had clearly gone mad. And clearly Drennan went mad too. This is possibly just a madness cube I've been carrying around for weeks. So that's probably good. Into the boilery we go. And we're finally in the right area because yeah, the compass marker is saying return it to here. Beautiful. We are close now. Can you hear the lexicon calling out? Sure. So we grab it and we get out, right? Once we have the lexicon, we'll need to take it to its podium. I know what to do from there. Soon the lexicon's knowledge will be mine. Ours. Soon the lexicon's knowledge will be ours. Of course. Okay. In we go. More to do yet, mind. Not much, though. Feels like we're actually not too far away from it. Jamora Lord can just take out the spiders at this point. Ben or support. I get round the back and whack it with a stick. This is all going very smoothly. Oh, hello. We're almost there. I can hear the lexicon. Come on, quickly. Something doesn't feel right. Yeah. What exactly happened to them? Wait! Okay. What? Oh. Okay, that looks like a trap to me. Nobody step on... Okay, Benor, do not step on... The... You're going to step on the... Tra... There's not much I can do to stop him stepping on the trap plates, really. Okay, Benor, just make sure you're the one that gets hit by the trap, not by me. Oh, dear! Benor, Benor! You know what? I feel like you brought that on yourself. Okay, let's just turn that off. Right? You okay, Benor? Not so hot, but he's doing all right. Right, so, watch as the roots died like this. And much like uh, the cats, yes, his tail will keep waving forever, even though he is, in fact, dead. Is your health coming back? Yep, it is ticking back up. Very, very nice indeed. Onwards. And we're getting close now. Re uh oh. Oh, yeah, that's a double centurion, all right. That's a Benor. Be Benor. Let's not go nuts here. Before we do anything, let's just get you to full health and rallied, okay? Actually, are those real centurions or are those centurions who are. No, I think those were flashback centurions. Ah, but at least one of them is still there. Okay, yeah. I think the other one... Yeah, they killed one. The other one survived and killed them. Got it. Right, so... In you go. Alright, fine. Apparently I do need to wake them up properly. That's fine. Fireball. Powerful skill. Boom! And that is a Centurion Master. So, in you guys go. I will cheerlead from over here. And another fireball. That does very little. Though, actually, his health is... Oh, my goodness. They are just murdering that master at this point. This is beautiful. So, yep, just get around to here. And I'll toss in a fireball, which does absolutely nothing. Dramora Lord is okay. And down he goes. Very, very nice indeed. So, there was Brea. So, yeah, uh, Brea was... Was she the old one? No, she was the younger one. So, only the old... The one with the old female voice survived. So, she wasn't the one who gave it to me, though. I'll take you, sell you down the line. Yeah, she wasn't the one that gave it to me, because it was like an Argonian with a male voice who gave me the thing in town. So, what happened to the old woman? How did that Argonian get hold of it? And more importantly, restore the lexicon, please. Okay, 
And that has added ancient knowledge. Right. And then if I activate, it doesn't do anything. What ancient knowledge have I actually um, learnt there? How do I access said ancient knowledge? Ah, it's in active effects. Ancient knowledge. Knowledge gained from Lexicon gives you 25% bonus while wearing dwarven armor. Okay, that's pretty good. And blacksmithing increases 15% faster. Ah, okay. So is that just if I do dwarven blacksmithing or all blacksmithing is up 15%? Because if so, that's... Admittedly not so great for me, but a really nice effect. I'll say that's a really, really cool effect. And there's a fancy chest here as well, which is always welcome. I'll have some gold and some scrolls and whatever, sure. And this, I'm guessing, Ben, or would indeed be the way to get up top. And out, indeed we come, open here. Ah, and we're back here to the beginning, beautiful. Yep, I remember this bit, so now we have indeed made it all the way through. Very, very nice indeed. So a couple of unanswered questions there, perhaps, but... We have indeed restored the thing. I would say that works well enough for me. And back up top. No! The dragons are still around then. Not just still around, actively decided they want to come for me. Right, Benor. Do you want to have this one? Because I'm feeling like, oh dear. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stand over here. Benor, this one's on you, to be honest. Oh dear. Maybe I'm just going to run out of here, alright, Benor? Maybe we're just gonna find a nice safe place to be because that's an elder dragon yeah ben or we need to get someone with slightly better cover all right there we go just a little bit more healing lovely doubled up healing works quite nicely would you by any chance mr stag be willing to help us out no thought not okay what about over here over here there's a nice water mill that might have some guards or something or at least some cover some cover would be so we could just get some cover yeah that that works that works right there, some nice cover I can hide in, while I just help out and buff and support and cast flipping things. Yep, lovely, hello. I've, um, I've just led a... oh dear, there's a child here. Yeah, I've just actually led a dragon to your watermill, I hope that's alright. So, uh, in we go, and... Where's the dragon? I think I may have just left Ben or on the dragon over there, like they're just dealing with each other. But if the dragon does come over here, there are indeed guards, so... That's nice. Yeah, I think Ben or on the dragon are now just going to fight it out over there. Take care of this by themselves. Hopefully, maybe he'll come over here. That's, yeah, he's definitely just landing over there and him and Ben are just having a nice fight. How are you, kid, by the way? What's your story? It's just me and my mother at the mill here. My father is gone. We don't know what happened to him. Probably a dragon ate him. I've heard there's some really irresponsible dragonborns around here. They just kind of, you know, don't bother killing dragons and all that. I mean, did you actually just put your fists up? Are you actually seriously planning to fight this dragon if it actually shows up? Please tell me you're actually planning to fight this dragon because you're an immortal child. Or possibly... No, no, just cowering, that's fine. Well, Benor's caught up with me. So, maybe we've just decided we can't be bothered with that dragon. No offense, I am sitting right now on... They're not powers, shouts. I'm, I'm sitting on six dragon souls right now and nothing I want to learn. Like, I've learned so many shouts right now. Seriously, I've got nothing I want to learn. Dismay, I already have, like, fear, so that's fine. And Frost Breath, I can't be bothered with that one. I don't think it's very good. So, yeah, I guess we just leave that dragon be and everything's okay. I'll have this here bird's egg, though. Marvelous. Oh, it's beautiful. I hope you're not here to start some trouble. I'll fight you if I have to. Yeah, maybe focus on fighting the dragon first, kid, all right? So as Ben and I enjoy this lovely, lovely view across the water, that island over there, next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to bother doing that thing I actually said I was going to do uh, two parts ago to Maven Blackbriar, who has people who displease her murdered. Uh, I should have done that faster, really, shouldn't I? Yeah, we're going over to Whiterun. We might do a little bit of inventory swappy roundy, because I've picked up a few bits there. And yeah, that lovely Warhammer, I think, needs to be put in a place of honour in my place of honour chest. Well, we'll never touch it again, because yeah, I think the one that I've made for Benor is actually better than that. But still, it's a cool little weapon. It's a very cool weapon. 50 absorption. That is really, really nice indeed. So we will go and do that next time and then figure out how to take out the Honning Brew Meadery and just generally do bastard things. So I'm clearly doing bastard things for people who are just bastards. So clearly I'm just not a very nice person. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Skyrim. Thank you very much and goodbye. We've all learned a valuable lesson here. When people have the zombie plague, don't allow them into confined spaces with you. We should just actually, like, use cannons. Do we have cannons? Use the cannons. Oh, they've got a big hammer. That's what the noise is. And a pirate's just rammed them. 
Okay, I think we're, we're in a traffic jam on the sea. 